Yeah, you know, folks, this dragon. Just doing a, a very quick um, gear review on what they call storm matches or stormproof matches. Uh, you can buy them online, probably get them from some camping stores, um, places like that. They're very good, they uh, come from different manufacturers, waterproof containers, and um, it's another alternative fire lighting method. Um, no doubt most of us like to have more than one way to light a fire, particularly in uh, very bad weather conditions. However, there's a problem I've found with these, and it's not explained a lot in the uh, specs or the description of these on the net very well, or indeed if you buy them from a camping shop or a retail store or something like that. And that is, the big claim they make is they're in waterproof containers, uh, the matches are waterproof, uh, you get about a 10 to 15 second burn on them, which is great. Uh, they do the job quite well. Waterproof. Drop it in there. Pull it out. Just dry my hands off first. <laughs> and this is the problem. The strikers on them. Excuse me, Jetta. <laughs> no, they're not going to hold it. They're bad people. Off you go. That's the problem with this, is the strikers. No, you can't eat it. You finished? Yeah, love you too. Oh, okay. Doggy kiss. Go on, scram. No, scram. <laughs> go. Go. So that's the problem with them, is that the, the strikers on them um, are not waterproof. Now, uh, there are some types that will have the striker on the top of the lid, the bottom of the lid, or both. I have seen one type where the striker is inside, and what they've done is they've put uh, some cotton uh, padding on top there to stop any um, accidental ignition of the matches inside this, these containers. Similarly with, uh, these are what they call um, strike alone, strike anywhere matches. They're fairly typical of um, matches you buy from the corner store or a supermarket or something like that. Cardboard box. Uh, these matches are quite good. The same problem again with the strikers on the sides of the box. Uh, once they get wet, you can't light your match. Uh, in Australia here we have what the, in going back quite a few years uh, the old green light matches actually came in a, um, a wooden box waterproof and this, this, the strokers on the side of those uh, from memory were, were quite good uh, I think you can still get them in some camping stores too so that's the um, big thing with these uh, stormproof uh, matches in these containers Yes, they keep the matches dry. Um, they're very good for, for, for uh, lighting in uh, inclement uh, or bad weather conditions. You get a bit of 10 to 15 second burn out of these. The biggest problem with them is, <coughs> and this is, this is something that you may want to check out if you've got these or you intend to buy some, uh, talk to the uh, retailer or the distributor about them, is the striker. The striker is not weatherproof. Some claim uh, they are weather resistant, just how weather resistant I'm, I'm not sure, but certainly uh, on this particular type they are not waterproof, you can't strike a match with it. So I found a way around it. The strikers on these, uh, this one's just, I suppose you could say very lightly glued on. Some of them come with spare strikers, um, but you can take those off the side very carefully, just peel them off. And what I did was, to overcome this problem, was take the, uh, the striker off the side of it, usually it sits there, and just fold it up inside out, like that, 
and put it in the lid. Now the reason why I've done it inside out is it sits on top of the matches like that. So it reduces um, the probability of an accidental uh, ignition of these matches inside this container to virtually zero. You certainly don't want these going up inside your gear somewhere. So what I did was, was just fold it in half, pop it inside the lid, put the lid on it like that. Okay. Now, very easy way, if you need to use one of these matches, just pull it out of the lid, stretch it out on your finger or a hard surface. Away we go. All right. So that's uh, that's one solution to that. Uh, I would recommend to any members on the forum, or indeed anybody on, uh, watching this video, um, if you've got these. Do a field test on them, check out if the strikers are waterproof, they will actually light a match. Um, what I did yesterday was I wet that down, it didn't work. Uh, once it dried out it started to work. But if you like I said, if you're working in, in, in uh, you've got a lot of fire in uh, bad weather conditions and things like that, uh, you may not be able to dry those out uh, in a fairly t short time frame. So uh, if you've got these, do some field testing on them, check the strikers as well as the waterproofing of the container they're in. It's great, keeps the matches dry, that's the problem child there. So, uh, something to think about folks and um, as I said, field test it, see if the striker will work when it's wet. If it doesn't, um, you can do something similar to what I've done, and uh, it should work quite well. Thanks very much for watching.